So tell us a little bit why about the 180 system itself. I mean, you just showed me and I, my mind is blown. But can you articulate a little bit? Yep. So, um, so every time we see somebody, whether it's an initial, initial evaluation, a follow-up visit, uh, we always start with a functional screen. So how I had you squat, stand on one foot, squat, but watch you walk, all that kind of stuff. So what we want to do is try to figure out what's wrong with people functionally, why they can't function normally. So when people come into me, they think they're coming in to see me because they have pain. I think, or I know they're coming to see me because they're dysfunctional and the dysfunction is what causes the pain that, that brings them into me. So I tell people that some people get caught up on pain and I basically tell them, I don't care if you don't hurt because I could do a whole bunch of things to take away your pain that wouldn't solve your problem. Mm -hmm. I would rather solve your problem and that takes away your pain so you don't have to keep on coming back to see me. So every visit starts with a functional screen uh, from head to toe. So if you come in to see me with migraine headaches, I'm still going to have you take your shoes off and assess your feet. So we run th everybody through the screen. That tells us functionally what you can and cannot do. So I'm looking for you to break down somewhere. So if you can't single leg squat because you can't control pronation and you've got low back pain, mm -hmm. that tells me when I put you on the table, I'm going to start with your feet and your knees and your hips before I ever get to your low back. So uh, the screen sets up what we do on the table. Once I put you on the table, I'm already thinking of certain positions that you failed at in the screen. Mm -hmm. All of those positions correlate with certain muscles. If muscles don't stabilize joints, joints become unstable, you compensate, overuse other things, and bad things happen. So when I have you on the table, I'll start testing muscles with what we call neuromuscular facilitation tests. So typical physical therapists will use what's called a manual muscle test, which is they're testing gross strength. I'm testing whether the muscle can contract. Okay. So like with Rich yesterday, when I worked with him, if I say Rich's quads are inhibited or don't work, somebody would be like, are you crazy? It's rich. He can squat. He can clean. He can do all this crazy stuff. How can he not be facilitating his muscle? Well, because he's a great athlete, he's figured out or his body has figured out how to compensate for, for what he can't do. Mm -hmm. um, so when I put you in positions, you can't stop me no matter how hard you try. That tells me that it's not a muscle problem, it's a nerve muscle problem. So the problem is that the nerve is not getting the stimulation or the appropriate stimulation to the muscle to make it contract on demand. So if you can't contract on demand when I have it on you at a table, you can't contract on demand when you're running, going upstairs, all that kind of stuff. So once I find a muscle that fails the test, I go to the proximal and distal muscle belly, which is where the neuromuscular junction is. So neuromuscular junction is basically where the nerve comes and meets the muscle to turn things on. And those are throughout the entire muscle belly. So what I figured out through playing with things is that if I irritate the proximal and distal end, that will turn on the rest of the muscle. So what I'll do is irritate that, like when I was poking around on you, then I'll come back and retest the muscle. The same test that failed the first time should feel strong. So like um, Rich had one yesterday where I went to test it. I'm barely giving him any pressure and just sent him through the roof. So that tells me that muscle is not contracting and that's what this, this knee pain is, is stemming from. So once I come back and test you again, and the second time you can stop me, then I say, okay, I know that one works. Now, what other muscle works with that muscle in that position that you failed? And I keep on going through and looking for more failures. So every time something fails, that means it's inhibited or the muscle can't contract normally, turn it back on, retest it. And then after I go through everything, then we get you back off the table and retest the functional screen. So if you couldn't single leg uh, squat before I got you on the table. Once I get you off the table, you should be able to single leg squat, no knee pain, no falling into pronation, good stability, all that kind of stuff.